Hi everyone, thank you for coming back to my channel. I'm Stephanie, if you're new here. Today I'm gonna go over some things you can do with your mason jars. If you have any mason jars, so I was talking to Miles and I also was talking to my daughter, Victoria, and she uses her mason jars to keep her fruit fruit a little bit longer so she just told me the other day she's like mommy did i start storing your fruit in mason jars so what she did is she went to a local store and they had a really good sale on fruit and stuff so she went and did that and then she stored them in her mason jars and then just put them in the fridge she washed them and got them ready just put them in the jars and then you're able to just grab the jars and then also I was telling Miles that it would be nice if we put our salads in mason jars because every day or whenever we feel like having a salad, we always have to take things out, cut it up and get it ready and have it washed and do all that kind of stuff. And that doesn't always work with how busy we've been. So I like the idea of just having mason jars on hand for that purpose. We also do a lot of like food storage in our mason jars. So we've been collecting mason jars now for the last couple years and we've been gifted them from other people that don't use them anymore. Um, I'm going to be using them hopefully a lot with our garden this year. I'm excited to try all that out. I didn't do water bath canning yet, but my friend taught me how to do a one process of canning uh, hamburger soup and it turned out amazing so I have everything written down and I'm going to try to attempt to do a lot of that on my own this year but we'll see but I wanted to also share with you guys what you can do with your mason jars um, I did do one video a long time ago I think on food like storage and prepping and stuff with your mason jars and I'm not going to do that in this video, but if I can find that one, I will link it up above and you guys can go check that video out. Also, it would be nice if I took some of these. This is like a longer one and these are the traditional wide ones. They both have the wide mouth though, um, but it would be nice to maybe layer this too. Or you could do yogurt or oatmeal in here. I know my daughter does overnight oatmeal in hers. Um, but I was thinking maybe you could just do a whole fruit container. Maybe I'll do that. I don't know, I'll think of something. So I got a couple of them and then uh, Lauren had some of these. These are the wide mouth canning jar lids. I know Amazon changed their affiliate link things for down in our description for our videos. So I'll see if I can list these down below and um, you guys can get these on Amazon and then add them to that. I think we're just gonna save these for when I do canning and I'll just use some of these for today. But let's get started. So I don't have anything washed. I don't have anything chopped or ready for this video, but I thought I would take you along because I'm gonna do this anyways. And I just feel this is gonna help so much with our daily like, you know, salads and stuff. So I think it's gonna work out good for us. So I have all of these jars right here that I'm gonna try to fill up with our salads and stuff like that. So we're just gonna put these off to the side for right now. Get them out of our way for what we need to do. Okay. So I'm gonna get all my vegetables and we are gonna start out with the salads first and then we will move on to doing the fruit and stuff. Um, just letting you know, today is gonna be a like regular normal video because, um, or how my life is on a regular. So today the kids are gonna play and there's gonna be a little bit of noise in the background, um, but that's just them playing and Evelyn's having fun and stuff right now. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna get everything ready and we're gonna start doing this.
Uh, who's on there right now? Nash. Um, I'm gonna let him play for a little bit longer. Nash, yeah. I'm gonna start timing you. So I'm back after cutting everything up. I have supper cooking in the back, so just ignore that. And then the kids are playing games, so they might you might hear shouting and screaming and stuff over there. So I'm just gonna explain something to you. I was just talking to Lauren about this because he d was doing some stuff today. I'm like, well, I'm showing you what I'm doing. And then I kind of said that maybe he could take it with him tomorrow. All right, so one of the things that I saw what you could do with your salad to, um, use it like the next day. So you would put your dressing in here and then you would build your salad backwards. So when you dump it, the lettuce would come out and then I would go in that layer. And then another way that people have done it also is they do it the same exact way. But then on top, they would have um, little containers that they can put in here for their dressing. Uh, so that's another way, but for us being at home, I'm not going to add the dressing because we're not going to take it anywhere. So I'll just add the dressing and everything later. Um, so maybe you can take this to work with you or school or whatever. And you also could use smaller jars if you want to do um, like the jelly or jam jars and you can put your dressing in them and then you have that with you at work also. So that's another way of doing this, but that's what I'm gonna do. And then I also have everything right here cut up and ready. So now all I have to do is just add it to the mason jars and then put it in the fridge for the rest of the week.
gonna move on to the fruit and then I'm gonna wash them off and cut up the strawberries. Um, but I have grapes, blueberries, raspberries, and strawberries. That's usually what we eat more on a regular basis versus any other thing. And then sometimes we have other um, like pineapple and then fruit in a can and stuff like that that we already have out in the garage. But I just remembered that I have the oranges that I can put in a mason jar also. So I'm going to come back and I'm going to get them and then um, I'm going to cut them up too. Okay, so I have everything washed up, ready to go. I have to cut up everything, and then I have my little oranges here that I forgot that I was going to do too. It's just going to be easier for me to just cut them up, put them in the jar, and then I don't have to do it for the kids whenever they want one. They can just go in the fridge and grab one. So that's going to be easier. So that's what I'm going to get started with. I'm going to have some of my jars are going to have mixed fruit in there so that if it's lunchtime or something, we can just grab the whole jar, and then that'll be our... Uh, fruit for that meal um, and then I'll do separate ones in case some of the kids just want a certain fruit and that'll work out good too so I have four eight ten mason jars and I think we have more so we can always get more if I need to get more but we're just gonna start out with this stuff first and then see what I need to do after I get done with this
anything in the mason jars. Put like the more delicate ones up on top, like the raspberries. I didn't want them to get, you know, smushed in there. So I have the strawberries, grapes, blueberries, and then the raspberries. I'm sure you could do like a granola kind of fruit thing. You could do your yogurt, your fruit, and then granola on top. Um, maybe I can do a video or maybe like a short video on that and then add like different toppings and stuff for that. Um, I am going to be doing something different also. I'm probably not going to do it on video, but we're going to be, I was just telling my friend this, um, we're going to be making these like granola pastry things. I think I was mentioning it in one of my other videos. And then you put these pastry things in the freezer and whenever the kids want like a little yogurt, a fruit pastry thing, um, they can just make it themselves. It is a more healthy alternative than some of the other things that they probably could have. Um, so that's another thing that we're going to do. If you guys are interested in knowing how to make that, leave me a comment down below and I can show you that. But for today, I wanted to share with you guys one idea. Now we just, we're going to start this because of what my daughter was telling me recently about her storing her fruit in her mason jars. So I kind of got the idea from that. I, um, like I said, we do mason jars with a lot of other stuff and not, um, you know, with this, but it is, it seems like every time that we have lunch or supper, we have to take the time to cut up everything and then uh, serve it. So I figured this would be so much easier for us to just pull out a jar and eat it that way or just put you know dump it in a bowl and that could be for breakfast lunch or dinner um if i would probably have to do this more often because of how much fruit we go through but that's okay so now that i have kind of the idea i can take a day and do that and plan that um but i just wanted to share I just wanted to share with you guys in case you guys are kind of like stumped on uh, maybe stuff to do quick. And this is just going to help us with getting salads and fruit and grabbing that quick instead of, um, you know, taking in time to cut it up at every meal and doing that. This is just going to work out so much nicer for us. So I could um, probably make up a bunch more. I do have some extra fruit off to the side here that I'm still going to put in some of these jars. Um, but I'm going to put these in the fridge. And I was able to put them here. Let me just show you. I was able to put them down where we put our fruit anyways. So I kind of pushed this off to the side because this is going to be used up in a different uh, video. And then I have the exact space that I need to put uh, the rest of these in there. And that worked out amazing for us because what ended up happening is every time that we would put our fruit in there, like when I went grocery shopping and I put our fruit in there, it, um, we were kind of smushing the containers down in there and then, you know, some fruit gets looked past and then we don't eat it or anything like that. So with this, at least we have it all together. It can't get wasted. We'll eat it up and it's pretty good. So I'm kind of excited about that. So I got four of them in there. So far, my carrots are in my way. So I got four of them in there. They fit in there perfectly. So I'm able to put these other two jars in there. And then for the other ones that I'm gonna be doing, them are just gonna go up here on the shelf next to the salads. So I was able to put a bunch of the salads right here on the bottom shelf. And then um, for our dressings, we have ranch and then i got that raspberry vinaigrette i got from our grocery home and um i think we have something else i know some people make their own dressing and maybe that's something we can do too um but we have sunflower seeds to go on top we have croutons and bacon bits if we want to have any of that that was another thing that i was gonna add to them salads so we didn't have to do that every time but that's okay, I was gonna add the bacon bits in there. 
Um, but we can do that, you know, at another time or whatever. Okay, so I had Miles cut up some celery. Him and Lauren were eating that tonight with some peanut butter. And I know a lot of people do go ahead and just cut up their fruits and vegetables for the week. And then they have that on hand, you know, at all times. I never really took the time to always do that. I just do it at, like, meal times and then that but this is just gonna be so much nicer that i don't have to do that at meal time and yeah so hopefully you guys like today's video if you guys like videos like this where you guys want me to do more food prep and stuff like that i will share that with you i also have some other videos that are going to be coming out soon when it comes to um like freezer stuff and whatever i just have a couple of ideas that i'm going to be sharing with you guys but yeah, so hopefully you guys liked today's video. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.